Australia's strategic focus on enhancing its air defense and aerial strike capabilities has taken a significant leap forward in 2025. Driven by a rapidly evolving Indo-Pacific security landscape, and the imperatives of the 2024 National Defense Strategy. With over $11 billion committed to advanced missile systems, autonomous platforms, and integrated defense networks, the Australian Defense Force is positioning itself as a formidable regional power. These investments, underpinned by the 2023 Defense Strategic Review and the 2024 Integrated Investment Program, aim to deliver a strategy of deterrence by denial, countering advanced threats such as hypersonic missiles and uncrewed aerial systems. The Albanese government's commitment reflects a clear intent to safeguard national security while fostering domestic industry and allied interoperability. A cornerstone of Australia's air defense modernization is the $2.12 billion acquisition of AM120D3 and AM120C8 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles, announced in July 2025. These supersonic missiles, procured through the United States Foreign Military Sales Program, significantly enhance the ADF's ability to engage aerial threats at extended ranges. The AM120D3, deployed on FA-18F Super Hornet, EA-18G Growler, and F-35A Lightning II aircraft offers unmatched precision for air-to-air -air combat, enabling the Royal Australian Air Force to counter adversaries with sophisticated air forces. Meanwhile, the AM-120C-8 integrated with the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, the NASAMS, operated by the Army's 10th Brigade, strengthens ground-based air defense. This dual-use approach ensures a layered defense posture capable of addressing threats from manned aircraft, cruise missiles, and drones. Minister for Defense Industry Pat Conroy emphasized the strategic importance of this investment, stating, this is a major investment in the security of our nation and underscores the Albanese government's commitment to providing the ADF with the capabilities it needs to keep Australians safe. The ADF's credible strike and long-range capabilities support our strategy of denial, which aims to deter any conflict before it begins. The NASAMS program has achieved groundbreaking milestones, with Australian Army soldiers conducting a world-first live-fire test in May 2025 at the Woomera Test Range. Soldiers from the 16th Regiment fired AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles from a modified Hawkeye high-mobility launcher, marking Australia as the only nation to achieve this capability. The Sidewinder, known for its superior maneuverability compared to the AMRAAM, albeit with a shorter range, was launched alongside canister-based systems in a ripple-fire exercise, targeting the same object simultaneously. This test followed the regiment's inaugural NASAMS live fire with an AIM-120 AMRAM in 2023, showcasing rapid progress in ground-based air defense. Bombardier Luke Dunbar, commander of the 111 Battery HML Detachment, described the team's enthusiasm, noting, there were smiles from ear to ear when the first missile went off. The ability to mix and match AMRAAM and Sidewinder missiles across HML and canister launchers provides tactical flexibility, allowing operators in the fire distribution center to track and engage targets, be they cruise missiles, uncrewed systems, or jets, based on speed, altitude, and flight patterns. Major Fernando Tularicinos, 111 Battery Commander, highlighted the strategic impact, stating, our peers in different units are asking us what we can bring to the table and how to integrate us into their plans. Beyond air-to-air -air and ground-to-air systems, the Royal Australian Navy is enhancing its maritime air defense with a $7 billion deal signed in October 2024 for Standard Missile 2 Block 3C and Standard Missile 6. These missiles, Deployable on Hobart-class destroyers and future Hunter-class frigates offer advanced air and missile defense, anti-ship capabilities, and Australia's first terminal ballistic missile defense. A successful SM-6 test firing from HMAS Sydney in August 2024 underscored operational readiness. 
Additionally, the $310 million Precision Strike Missile Program, compatible with high-mobility artillery rocket system launchers arriving in March 2025, bolsters the Army's long-range strike capacity. The 2023 acquisition of over 200 Tomahawk cruise missiles further enhances the RAV's long-range strike options, deployable from Growler, Super Hornet, and F-35A platforms. Australia's investment in autonomous systems is equally transformative. The MQ-28A Ghost Bat, a Boeing-designed uncrewed combat aircraft, is advancing with $4.3 to $5.3 billion allocated for uncrewed aerial systems. Testing in 2025 focuses on payload integration, with plans to operate alongside F-35A aircraft. The MQ-4C Triton, a high-altitude, long-endurance UAV, enhances maritime surveillance from RAF-based Tyndall, monitoring Australia's northern approaches. Concurrently, the ADF is developing counter-uncrewed aerial system capabilities under Land 156, incorporating advanced sensors to neutralize drone threats, reflecting the growing prevalence of uncrewed systems in modern warfare. The $500 million AR6500 Phase 1 contract, awarded to Lockheed Martin Australia in April 2024, is pivotal for integrating these capabilities into a joint air battle management system. This system, designed to counter high-speed threats, including hypersonic missiles, leverages Australian industry, creating over 230 direct and 300 indirect jobs. The Advanced Strategic Capabilities Accelerator further supports innovation, with $61.5 million allocated in January 2025 to develop technologies to degrade adversaries, integrated air and missile defense systems. These efforts align with the IIP's $330 billion investment through 2033-34 including $28.8 $8 billion for RAF enhancements, like the completed delivery of 72 F-35A aircraft and upgrades to C-130J Hercules air mobility platforms. Despite these advancements, challenges persist. Workforce shortages hinder the sustainment of complex systems, and critics argue that budget increases are insufficient, with some capabilities delayed until the 2030s. Public sentiment, as reflected on platforms like X, is mixed, with praise for missile acquisitions tempered by concerns over strategic priorities, such as canceled F-35 orders or deployments supporting Ukraine. Australia's geographic isolation and modest force size underscore the urgency of rapid capability deployment to counter regional threats, particularly China's advanced missile systems like the DF-26.